Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how we create a list view for permission set in Salesforce Classic as well as a Lightning Edition. And the following are the topics that we are going to discuss in today's video and we will discuss these topics in both Lightning as well as a Classic Edition of a Salesforce. So let's begin by understanding what permission set means. So in Salesforce, permission set are a set of a settings and a permissions that control which tools and features user have to assess. So now we move ahead and learn to create, edit and delete the list view for a permission set in Salesforce Lightning Edition. So here I log in into my Salesforce account in a Lightning Edition. By default, the Salesforce automatically open the lightning edition so here we have a search setup on the top we have to search permission set here and here you can see that it shows us options of a permission sets click on this it will open the setup for the permission set and here we have a drop down this drop down is known as a list view it is basically used to filter out the records on specific criteria so I want to filter out the criteria on the license basis and here you can see that I have a number of record with the different license but I only want the records that has license cloud integration user. So for this I want to create a new list view. So here I have option of a create a new view. So I click on it and it will open up the form with the fields so we have to firstly enter the view name so here i enter the name as a cloud integration view then we have to specify the filter criteria here we have a lookup option here i click on it and in this we have a permission set details here i want to apply the specific criteria on the license i select it and click on this insert then I click on operator and select the equals and here I have to enter the value. So here I add cloud integration user. As I told you, I want to search the record only cloud integration user. Then we will move ahead and here we have to specify the columns that we want to display. So here from this all, I select the permission set details and from this we have to select it. So here we already have a permission set label. I want to add some more. So I pick up the license, permission set name and the description and I move this from the available setting column to the selected settings. So now I save the setting by click on this save button. So here it saves the list view and from this drop down I click on this view which I have created with the name cloud integration view and from here you can see that it shows only those record which have a license as a cloud integration user. So with this we have learned to create a list view in permission sets in Salesforce Lightning Edition. Now if we want to edit this list view so how we can do it here you can see that we have a edit option. So I click on this and here it shows me if you want to edit the view name you can edit it. So I change the view name to cloud integration view for your team. Now I want to add one more filter criteria. So I click on this add row option. From this lookup we have to select the settings. So here I go to the permission set details from this. I select the permission set label and I click on this insert option and I use the equals operator and I set its value to the security center integration user. So then moving ahead I also want to change the order of a selected column. I want that this permission set name visible as a first column so I click on this top arrow and shifted it to the first column and after editing all these things i click on this save button so now you can see that it only show me the cloud integration view for the security permission set label so 
so firstly we have to but now it shows me only one record suppose at some moment of a time you don't need this list view anymore so you can easily delete it by clicking on this delete option it will show you the pop up for the confirmation click on the okay and it successfully deletes the permission that list view in the salesforce lightning version so with this we have learned to create added and delete the list view for permission sets in salesforce lightning edition so now we will move ahead and learn to create added and delete the list view for permission sets in salesforce classic edition so for this firstly we have to shift to the salesforce classic edition you have to click on this avatar and here you get an option switch to a class salesforce classic so when i click on this it will move to the classic version and here on a top you have a option of a setup click on this option and on the left hand you have an administrator and in it you have to click on the manage users then you will click on this permission set and after that it will open the permission set so now i want to create a new list view and here you can see that this drop down shows us the list view so i only want to show the records that has create and customize list view option so here i click on this create new view then i have to enter the view name first so here i name it as a customize list view so next we have to choose the specific criteria on which you want to create a list view so i click on this look up and from here i click on the users permission so from here we have to search and here i want to create a list view for the create and customize list view so i click on it and click on this insert button i set its value equals to true so then we have to specify the column that we want to display so i click on this all i again click on this permission users permission and from here i search for create and customize list view i move it to here and it shows me the permission set label and the create and customize list view name so then after creating it i click on this save button and here you can see that from this drop down we get a list view name as a customized list view when i click on it it shows me only the two records that have a facility of a create and customize the list view and here is the name of the permission set label the first one is the facility manager and the second one is a queue manager so now i want to edit this list view so i click on this edit option it moves me to the edit view so now i want to change the specific criteria value to false here you can see that we specify the criteria as a create and customize list view i set its value equal to true but now i want to change it to false so i change it at click on the save button and here you can see that it only show me the record that doesn't have access to create and customize the list view and it shows me and it only has a one record with the permission set label experience profile manager so now i don't need this list view anymore so i want to delete it so for deleting it i have to click on this delete option or a button and it will show you the pop up for the confirmation of the delete view so if you want to delete it click on this okay but click on this okay button and it will successfully delete the list view so you can see that in this drop down the list view doesn't exist anymore so with this we have also learned to create edit and delete the list view in salesforce classic edition and in this whole video tutorial we will learn to create and customize the list view for permission set in salesforce classic as well as a lightning edition so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching